Yeah. And so this starts to go into, you know, we, we talk about martial applications, but a martial application we usually demonstrate as a, as a technique. Right. So this is the, the technique where I come in and I do this and I, I do brush knee push or something. And it's only going to work if he cooperates with the, the application and, and knows what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. So if I come in like this and I do brush knee push and he doesn't know what he's supposed to do, then he ends up adapting, so I have to do something else. Mm -hmm. And the ability to adapt to somebody who doesn't know what they're supposed to do, you have to find the part of them that doesn't know what they're supposed to do. And that has to be the thing that you want them to do, which is fall down. Yeah, I, I just stepped back because I knew what you were going to do. Yeah. And, that, and that's all that. Was. Yeah. But you, the neat thing is you don't have to know exactly what I'm going to do if you understand the structure, if you understand where the fulcrum is. You just keep moving the fulcrum, and it doesn't matter what the technique is. You're going to be neutralizing it because the fundamental principle that I'm trying to override is you being balanced. And if you're really good at being balanced, then nothing I'm going to do is going to work. The technique's not going to work. Technique is irrelevant if you have that fundamental principle. Mm -hmm. If you are really, really good at adapting to all sorts of external events that will disrupt your balance, like the wind, gravity, the sun, the moon, the tides, if you can adapt to the fact that, well, the moon was over there when I started, but now it feels like it's over there because I can feel the gravitational pull change. If you have that kind of sensitivity, then nobody's going to be able to do any technique to you. <laughs> You're going to be all right. <laughs> You're going to be all right? Maybe I'm not all right. I can feel the moon pulling. I, the, the rotation of the earth gives me nausea. <laughs> like that. Right, so, so there's no way that I should have been able to throw you doing this. <laughs> no. But I didn't. Right, that was after I threw you. Uh, you were already off balance, and I just sort of followed that way. Yep. So people see this, and they go, oh, you're right, he threw him with his fingers. No, he didn't. He threw him with the whole body, and then the fingers just sort of followed along. Yeah. You were already going by the time I did that. Right. So part of the sensitivity is learning to realize when you've done something or when something has happened. Because if I don't recognize it, then you're just going to be losing your balance, and you just keep falling back down into your feet again. Mm -hmm. But if I can recognize when you're losing your balance and which way is it, it's going, then I can yeah. do that. Yeah. Just follow it through. Yeah, and then you get better and better at finding your balance. And you're being completely defensive here. You're not trying to get upset my balance, right. which is a great advantage to me. Uh, so you just get really good at finding your balance. And as I try to do this to you, you get really good at doing that. And eventually, I'm going to start pushing myself over. Yeah. Right? So I'll get to a certain point where I've got him. I've got him. He's not there. He's not there. Maybe he's there. Is it there? No, no, that's not it. And I push myself. Mm -hmm. So. When people say, oh, he didn't push, and the guy pushed himself over. Well, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. that's, what you, that's what you want. Really high-level skill means the other person is going to push themselves over. But you can help by, adding a, by putting that on a fulcrum. Put your weight on one hip or the other. Mm -hmm. There you go. See that? Yeah. So you've changed it. Now, so instead of me pushing on the door handle, I'm pushing on the hinge. You could feel that. Yeah. Yeah, you just put your mind over there. There. That's it. Because just engaging changes the structure of the body. Like my mind thinks here, the fulcrum goes there. That's simple. Yeah, my mind goes there, the fulcrum goes there. So you push, push me. So here, as you lean on me, like that, I'm going to put my weight on this fulcrum. Mm -hmm. You feel that? Now yep. I'm going to put it on this one. Yep. And then, and then this. And now I'm just going to change back and forth. Yeah. Okay? So this leg, this leg, this leg, this leg, yeah. like that. Yeah. So for here, I put my weight on this leg, then I put it on this one, then I put it on this one. So all I've done is think, this one, this one, this one. You're and gradually that, just doing that. Yeah, thing. I'm moving the fulcrum over. Mm -hmm. And the movements are going to be small. And it's the small movements that give you the advantage. Yeah. You always do that. Little, 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 little. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very fine. And by, by the time you realize what's happened, it's too mm -hmm. late.